Welcome back to UC Star Astrologies. I'm your astrologer, Cindy. This is going to be the general horoscope reading for <laughs> Aries, October 2018. Take, I don't know. Now, the thing is, is that, dear Aries, tomorrow is the 28th of September when Pluto goes forward in Capricorn, the house of career, reputation, the house of being out there in the world, you know, showing, re representing yourself to the world. <sighs> and because I am an astrologer and I sharing, I am sharing about astrology, this is like my 20th video on Aries. I mean, it's almost, I, I can't, I've lost track. <laughs> so please like, share, and subscribe. I hope this video works out. I've been having so many tech problems because Pluto is in my third house, okay? Um, I'm a Scorpio ascendant with Sagittarius in my first house, and Pluto is uh, like 29 degrees in my in um, no Pluto is in in Capricorn 20 something degrees in Capricorn yeah <laughs> so this is like really not hasn't been very easy okay so another thing is that if you like share and subscribe you automatically enter yourself to winning a 30-minute free astrology reading with me on Facebook Messenger, either live video or through phone, depending on what you want, okay? So, um, that also helps if you enter yourself into my Horoscope Facebook group, and the link is down below, okay? So, comment. If you already subscribed, then comment. You still get a chance to enter yourself in winning, okay? Um, yeah. Um, dear Aries people, <laughs> I'm trying so hard. This is, I, I swear to you, I've done it. I've done this on my iPad. I did it on my cell phone. I don't know how many times on my cell phone. I did it on my laptop so many times. Um, through through streaming. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Okay, so <laughs> um, okay, I am just have to apologize for you to you guys because this is coming out late and it that is the reason because it um Pluto already been in shadow before it hits that twenty eighth day when it goes forward. And so I'm really feeling it big time. Okay, so Venus, the planet of love, the planet of I have all my so I don't have to you know have a little thingy. <laughs> Venus on the fifth of October goes retrograde and she represents money and beauty and women and fertility. And she is going retrograde, okay? And that is happening in the house of Scorpio, okay? Scorpio, the house of marriage, other money resources, transformation, tantra, chakras, and esoteric knowledge, spiritual knowledge. Mm, what else did I write? Oh, shared resources, even with um, um, business partners marriage partners and also your roommates if you have a roommate sharing rent with roommates and in-laws it also has to do with your in-laws okay so um, when you have Venus going retrograde here okay in the house of sex <laughs> Venus going retrograde now it can bring some waves, make waves within your marriage, 
The thing that is really interesting here, now I have to write this all over again. <laughs> the thing about, about Scorpio is you let the dogs out. <laughs> okay, we have um, we have Jupiter sitting here, okay? Jupiter is here in Scorpio. He's been here for a while. I believe he is about 21 degrees. Yeah. Venus is, you feel like, yay, Venus is here. Venus and Jupiter. Um, the thing about Venus is that, um, Venus and Jupiter, they can't seem to agree what should be the agenda. They tend to to argue a little bit because Jupiter is a god that wants to, to just be about esoteric knowledge, just wants to be about um, hiring your consciousness. And Venus is about luxury, about love, about sex, and her focus is then more on this, on sex, yes. And um, then, uh, so the 5th of October, she comes in, Jupiter's been sitting here already, he flies out in November, okay. And um, another thing is, on the, on the 9th of October, then we have Mercury. Mercury, you see this? These horns on his head. <laughs> That's him receiving uh, information from the ether intelligence. Okay, <laughs> that is the planet of intelligence, the planet of communication, the planet of magic, the planet that has to do with your pineal gland. And your brain, okay, and he enters Scorpio. Scorpio, the, the constellation that has to do with transformation and uh, and magic as well. So the thing is, is Mercury is about communication, research, and Venus going retrograde. Hmm. <laughs> now there's a party going on here, Aries. There's more, there's like a, more of a, of a, how you say, it's a, it's more than just a love triangle, okay? <laughs> there's lots of options happening, especially because you have, um, um, the North Node three degrees, you have the North Node three degrees in Leo, okay, so. This north node is three degrees in Leo. Squaring, okay? Squaring Scorpio, okay? It's squaring your Scorpio. And um, here, so all the planets in Scorpio, you're going to get caught, okay? Someone is spying on you. Someone is being jealous. That Venus going retrograde is is um, is squaring that North Node. Someone is really jealous. Um, yeah, it's like big time. The good thing that can happen about this is it's really good for exes to come back. North Node represents someone who is. Um, who is a foreigner, a, for, a, a girlfriend, or a lover who is foreign, is coming into your life. Um, Jupiter is guru, so it could be someone who is of higher consciousness coming back into your life. Um, or it could be a boss, okay, coming back into your life. Now, the good thing is if you are in any kind of litigation process as well, that Mercury also at the end of the month on the 31st of on the 31st of October Mercury enters Sagittarius. Okay, Sagittarius, um, like if, if 
if you were um, if you are needing litigation process in regards to your in regards to your um, career, okay, or in with government or anything, maybe you did like whatever it was, sexual harassment or um, white um, laundry. How do you say white collar? Um, laundering whatever it is if you got caught in your in a litigation process um, mercury enters on the 31st mercury enters sagittarius mercury communication salesman and, and that means that your attorney is representing you very very well okay not only that but um that's in sagittarius on the 31st of october okay okay and not only that, um, we have we have in Capricorn, Ceres is here. Ceres is here. I think she's like three degrees or something like that, or nine 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 degrees. She is nine degrees, nine degrees in Capricorn. Okay, there is a party going on in Capricorn too, because because Saturn. Is also here, okay. Um, who else is okay? Um, Saturn is here. Saturn <laughs> is the judge, the karmic judge, and Pluto is sitting here. Pluto in Capricorn tends to bring a person in your life that wants to exude their power over you, and maybe you were this especially because the Lilith was sitting here too okay that Lilith next to Pluto could have caused a lot of you know waves in your career now Sarah is coming in trying to make things right trying to um, she is conjuncting Saturn. so a boss a judge may be trying to help you you um, uh, uh, nourish you, trying to to um, really help you. So you're starting to get help in regards to anything that went wrong in your career, anything that went wrong. Um, you're starting to get help. Okay, so maybe it could also be um, a guru because uh, Capricorn is also a guru, someone who's into like higher knowledge, magical knowledge. Um, so it could be um, whatever, whatever is going on. It was really bad, but now things are looking much better for you, Aries. The only thing is you have to be careful about your love life. Not only that, um, um, you have uh, um, Chiron has is going retro in your 12th house when you think of the things that um, you've been very self-sabotaging in regards to your spirituality in regards to your sexuality making you think about mm, have I been sabotaging my life um, my sex life and it's making you think a lot about the magic of sex the worth of sex okay and not just to throw it around. <laughs> Nevertheless, you're being very challenged in your eighth house of sex with that party going on, and and some some uh, Venus person running, uh, someone running towards you, wanting to share their love towards you, but you may be running away from their love, or it could be vice versa, um, you wanting to get married, but. And with this North Node in in your fifth house, it's like you have so many options that you, it doesn't really look like you're ready to get married. I don't think you're going to be ready to get married until that um, until that North Node leaves um, your your fifth house of love and dating and enters the fourth house in November of emotions and. That would be much, much better, okay, because it causes too many 
that the north node doesn't fare well in the fifth house. Nevertheless, you're like, it's rainy men. Hallelujah. <laughs> so, yeah, be aware. You have lots of options, Aries. Even your exes are coming back. You know, um, but p people are spying on you. People are checking you out, and um, good time to re renegotiate contracts with people with whom you worked with in the past. Okay, good time to be uh, represented by an attorney, especially on the thirty-first of October, or or to re-enter uh, um, learning. Okay. Or traveling someplace um, yeah it may be needing to travel on the 31st of October for one reason or another maybe to be in court you having to travel um, um, or yeah so hugs and kisses don't forget to like share and subscribe so that you can enter winning a 30-minute free astrology reading with me until next time goodbye